A new study finds that an ancient coronavirus may have infected the ancestors of people living in modern-day East Asia starting 25,000 years ago and for thousands of years afterward. The COVID-19 pandemic, which has now claimed more than 3 million lives, has revealed just how vulnerable we are to new viruses. But as new as this threat seems, humans have been battling dangerous viruses since the beginning of time. Using modern-day tools, researchers can detect the fingerprints of these ancient pathogens by pinpointing how they drove natural selection in the DNA of people living today. This information, in turn, could provide valuable insight to help predict future pandemics, the researchers say. Using information available in a public database, the group of researchers analyzed the genomes of 2,500-plus people across 26 different human populations around the world. When coronaviruses slip inside human cells, they hijack the cell's machinery in order to replicate. That means that a virus's success depends on its interactions with hundreds of different human proteins. The researchers zoomed in on the set of 420 human proteins known to interact with coronaviruses, 332 of which interact with SARS-CoV-2. Most of these proteins help the virus to replicate inside the cells, but some help the cell fight off the virus. The genes that code for these proteins constantly and randomly mutate. But if a mutation gives a gene an advantage, such as a better ability to fight off a virus, it will have a better chance of being passed down to the next generation, or selected for. The researchers found that in people of East Asian descent, certain genes known to interact with coronaviruses had been selected for. In other words, over time, certain variants appeared more frequently than would be expected by chance. This set of mutations likely helped the ancestors of this population become more resistant to the ancient virus by altering how much of these proteins were made by cells. The researchers found that gene variants that coded for 42 of the 420 proteins they analyzed started to increase in frequency around 25,000 years ago. The spread of these advantageous variants continued until about 5,000 years ago, suggesting that the ancient virus continued to threaten these populations for a really long time. Researchers say that this ancient pathogen that plagued our ancestors might not have been a coronavirus. It's possible it was another type of virus that happened to interact with human cells the same way coronaviruses do. Though the findings are intriguing, they don't change our understanding of which populations are better at surviving SARS-CoV-2 infections, the researchers say. There is no evidence that these ancient gene adaptations help protect modern people from SARS-CoV-2. Social and economic factors such as access to healthcare likely play a much larger role than genes in who gets sick with COVID-19. The researchers now hope to collaborate with virologists to understand how these adaptations helped ancient humans survive exposure to this ancient coronavirus. The findings haven't yet been peer-reviewed and were posted in the preprint database bioarchive. The study is in the process of being reviewed for publication in a scientific journal.